We went to school the day after and everybody was crying and sad. My whole family was depressed and so was I because I was like, what's gonna happen now after we made all of this progress? Donald J. Trump will become the 45th president of the United States unlike anything we've seen in our lifetime. The only thing I can compare it to, although it's not as dramatic that I've experienced as a New Yorker, was that feeling after 9-11. Although it wasn't as dramatic or deadly, there was a quiet sadness in the city. It made me feel upset because he likes to say a lot of things but doesn't help people. And he's very disrespectful. Why do you think people voted for Donald Trump? Because he, they think that Donald Trump is going to be the greatest president of all time. For some reason, I don't know. A lot of people did not take this election very seriously. I don't think that enough people thought that it could happen. And because of that, people took their right to vote as a joke. Um, and unfortunately, we're stuck with what we're stuck with. Well, he should try to scrub off his spray tan because he's orange. Who gets orange that quick? He, he probably uses like some type of tanning lotion. It's a nasty. I don't think he's orange. I think he's yellow. And I think he's yellow because he's a Simpson. I think he's a Simpson because when I watch the news and I see him on TV, he comes out real yellow. Personally, I don't think he's doing a good job. Personally, that's what I think. I don't think he should be president. Why? Because he doesn't know what he's doing. I think that the direction that he's taking our country in is probably not the most positive thing. I feel like Donald Trump has made the country more divided. I feel like he represents people who have a lot already handed to them in this world, who don't want to share and don't want to see other people share in the wealth of America. But me personally, it makes me more defiant in terms of what I believe and what I represent personally. You're here today to actually, so we can actually about uh, Donald Trump. <laughs> oh, he just died to do that to me. Okay, I just feel like he's openly racist for everything that he does. Like, for me, I just feel like he's taking abuse to his power and not came out us. I don't even like him, so I don't got no words. Feel about his promises that he made during his uh, during the election. Um, I don't believe none of that. Whatever he say out his mouth, I believe it's a lie. And I'm really worried about what's going to happen just now to people who are vulnerable and having a hard time. And he makes things worse for them. And she's five, and I have a daughter who's two. And I'm sad that they'll have to live in a world where he's the president that they remember. When Donald Trump became president, a lot of violence started to move up and a lot of raci racism started to grow and grow and grow when Donald Trump became president. And saying to Muslims that they don't belong here and stuff and go back to their countries. And I have a Muslim friend in fifth grade. She's still in America and I call her every single day before I go to, before I go to sleep. I ask her if she's okay and stuff. I think there's a lot of hate that runs through his veins, and I think that then other people feel that it's okay to kind of do the same things and exercise the same beliefs, even though they are harmful to a lot of individuals. I feel that the world doesn't deserve to suffer from Donald Trump's stupidity. He's saying that he wants to make America great, but everybody else thinks it's already great, and he's just making it more chaos.